Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gerter Tief. And tonight we are celebrating three years of making whiskey review um, videos. And I am super excited. Um, I, well, I, to be honest, I started this whiskey journey many, many years ago, um, as a, maybe somewhere in the 17, 18 year old time frame and um, always had a passion for a good whiskey and of course growing up in South Africa um, it used to be a blended whiskey and um, if you can find a single malt well a single the word single malt never appeared in my dictionary until I moved to you know, moved to Belgium um, eight almost nine years ago and I found out there is a wonderful thing of a single malt. Now, when I was still in South Africa, these things were unaffordable. There's no way that you can buy this one and open it up and drinking it nilly willy. And the salaries is not good enough to support your habit on this one. Moving here to Belgium, I think it is a little different for me. At least I have the ability now to buy some of the best whiskies in the world. Now, this is a celebration date for me. This is a day um, three years ago that I decided during the you know what, I decided it's time to do something. There's only so much time that you can be online and um, doing a little bit of work on the side. Um, you need to do something to be constructive, we were in complete lockdown at some stage. And, um, well, I was um, a big fan of whiskey. I had a nice collection already. And I thought to myself, I can do better than most of the people. <laughs> than most of the people that's doing reviews. Well, I can tell you, definitely not the best. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it so much. It is so nice, in, especially during that time period that you can chat with all the other content creators, people that has got a big passion for whiskey, um, people that will are willing to part with not just their knowledge, but also with samples. And I can only mention the first guy that I really met was um, Alan Wilson, the whiskey friend. Um, he's got a fantastic channel, a fantastic collection. And um, if you want to see more of his videos, please pop on to the Whiskey Friend Alan Wilson. Give him a like, tell him that Gert said um, we need to watch your channel as well. And um, of course, there is many other people. Ralphie is one of the channels that I've always watched and liked. Um, he's got no BS um, whiskey channel. He say it like it is and sometimes he gets into trouble as well. And I do appreciate his honest opinion. Um, and of course, there is many other channels from the US. Um, G Whiskey is one of them from, I think he's in Taiwan. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, Bad X Bourbon. This guy is phenomenal. He's great. He's swinging that axis, <laughs> destroying things and talking about bourbon. And he's got a channel that I think just reached 7,000 subscribers in a very short time. So that is the community. That is a, a community that you can, if you ask a question, they are going to give you an answer. And of course, the same with my subscribers. I know this is going to be a little bit of a, of a well, me giving out <laughs> um, my thoughts, but um, my community are just fantastic. There's not a, a bad word to be said. It's always supportive. There's people giving me their opinion on a specific whiskey, which I, I really like. I like sharing with ideas um, and what I find and maybe you find something different. It's okay to find something different. We, uh, we don't all taste the same. So this is a celebration. And um, for me, I wanted to pick something special. And I was not sure. Now I started my first video 
please don't go look at it. <laughs> if I look at that video, oh my word, it's pathetic. But I left it there so that for people that want to start their own channel, go look at that cha video. And um, well, and then maybe start looking at the newer videos, more confidence, uh, more happy and more louder as well. So I've done now 650 videos in three years time. <laughs> yeah, it is quite a lot of videos, but I can't help myself. The, I have a, this passion. I want to taste every whiskey available. Uh, <laughs> and um, I know it's not going to be possible, but at least I found a nice stores here that can help me out with some samples and the budget. I, I, my word, I think I should never add up everything that I spent on whiskey the last three years because I'm going to cry. It's a lot of money. So to the whiskey, my celebration whiskey, I was thinking Glendronic 18. Um, I have the 2019 bottle, but I thought to myself, is three years is special, but maybe not that special. Maybe that is um, left for maybe a 2,000 subscribers or maybe a 5,000 subscriber territory. I've got uh, Chevis Regal, um, the uh, Royal Salute 21, um, still unopened. I paid a fantastic price for it, like 68 euros. It's quite expensive now. Thinking Johnny Walker Blue Label, but I know that's not going to make a lot of people happy, but I do like it. Now, the next thing that I, well, I think I need to try it again. I did the review on it, but I pulled the trigger. I bought a bottle of it, and of course, you all knew that I'm going to whip out the Springbank 10-year-old. Um, and I know Ralphie also just talked about the Springbank 10-year-old, one of this uh, best distillery three years in a row. And um, I tend to agree that they are good. I agree if you are lucky enough to be close to them and you can buy it at their retail prices, I think it's okay. But of course, I am not close and uh, people buy them up and then they sell it on the secondary market and if some of the shops they make a killing out of it because they know we are chasing these bottles and they know we are prepare, prepared to pay a premium for this whiskey. Now this bottle I bought it here locally and um, I paid 80, about 88 euros for the bottle. Everything included with shipping. So not a bad price. Um, at the local shops here as well. Surprisingly easy to get this one now. I don't know how it happened, um, but every shop that I go into it, they will have one or two bottles on this one. So tonight we are going to celebrate, if I can find the start of this bottle, tonight we are celebrating with a little bit of a um, spring bank. Now that was really a little bit of a struggle to get this one open, but at least it's open. Now this one, um, the 10 year old, when I first tried it, um, I was not blown away with it. The second try um, was a little bit better. Now there is a batch variant and of course we have to take that into account. And uh, as one of my friends told me some time ago when I bought this bottle, I said, I hope you bought one that is nice. <laughs> so not very encouraging. Um, it is um, the Campbelltown Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Um, not a lot of information on a 10 years old, 46% ABV. And at the back they give me some information, unfortunately, the eyes is not there. Um, there's no way that I can, can read it. But of course, we do know it is natural color and it is a non chill filter. And it's a company that takes passion in the whiskey. Now, if it's going to be nice, I'm not sure. I can only hope that I'm pouring some liquid gold and that's something that I will be enjoying for some time in the future. Color-wise, it is a very light color to it. 
um, a little bit of a maybe a light nine carat gold on the nose. Oh, on the nose, it is lovely. There's a sweetness to it. There's a, a little bit of a caramel fudge note. There's a little bit, they call it the spring bank funk. Now I do get it. Could never really articulate what am I smelling. But you definitely find it's different. If you take any other whiskey, maybe from the Highlands, and you, and you give that a nose, the space side, and you compare it to this one, you will see there is a strangeness to it. I'm not sure if I would call it funky, because for me, funky means off-putting or something that is not really nice. This is a nice strangeness to it. And I get a wood component, quite a lot of oak sawdust that comes out. It is sweet, but definitely not a super sweet whiskey. It is like a well-balanced whiskey um, with nobody in the fight that is standing out and trying to overpower the whole um, sensors of the nose. So pleasant, but is it worth the 88? I'm not 100% convinced yet. It's going to have to go for the taste as well. Completely different from um, the, the, the high cost strength ones that they have. And of course, um, some of the maturations that they have with the big dark ones that they come out. would love to try that as well. But my wallet and my wife said, no way that you are going to spend that kind of money for a bottle of whiskey. So hopefully I get some more. I did quite a number of reviews on it, on samples. And I do like it. The 17 year old, the 15 year old, the 21 year old. The videos are there if you are interested in it. So on the taste, cheers. Mm. There's a smoke come out. There's a smoky component to it. A lovely, sweet, smoky component, not TCP, iodine, and all of this badness. A little bit of a bonfire type of smoke, or a little bit of a tarry note. Just a hint of a tarry note. Uh, somebody making um, tar, <laughs> tar in the road <laughs> somewhere. I get that hint of that tar note. But it is lovely, and it is something that I can relate to. And it is not that iodine TCP type of thing that can be quite uh, strong on the taste. But it's definitely there. I didn't get that uh, smokiness on the nose. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too climatized to some smoke. Mm, yeah, if I, I'm going to have to use my imagination and that's never a good idea. I have quite a vivid imagination. But definitely on the nose, lovely, and definitely not complex, but it is just a nice friendliness. And on the taste, that little bit of a, all of a sudden, but this is peat, there's a smoke, a little bit of a surprise in a bottle. One more sip, cheers. Oh, but definitely, I think this is a good batch. Uh, Greg, um, well, I can tell you, my friend, it is a good batch. One friend as well, Greg, um, Whiskey Guide. If you are looking for fantastic information, somebody that's got a big knowledge about whiskey, follow um, Greg's Whiskey Guide and uh, you're not going to be sorry. So definitely for me, this one, as a celebrating drink, three years, um, 1,000... 600 subscribers. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and um, let's see if we can get to 2000. I really don't want to wait another year to get to 2000. Four years, 2000, uh, uh, that's a 
tough one to swallow. So uh, do the right thing if you want. Um, like, share and subscribe. And I see you next time. Cheers.